This year with the Performance Academy, we have, I think, strengthened our base by finding partnerships among uh, some of us, you know, in Saarbrücken, in Luxembourg, uh, here in, 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 in Göttelborn, perhaps in the future involving partners from France. Uh, in a sense, making the Academy something of a counter model to existing institutions and providing a temporary refuge for young and mature artists uh, working together uh, in a search for new practices. But the new practices are already built upon what we have learned in the last 10-20 years in terms of the influences we draw on. And here I would say in the lab there are at least three important strands coming together. One is um, physical performing arts, theatre and dance. Then uh, music and especially the sonic art and uh, electronic music. Also music providing us with a lot of the software that was developed in the music community uh, since the 80s and 90s. And then coming from maybe opposite ends, perhaps the visual and plastic arts, uh, people come here who are interested in architecture and in um, new forms of making installation work that are perhaps site-specific or that are influenced by ideas of site. And then we have network technology and computation, software development, uh, artists working with new interfaces. So that you could also see the interaction laboratory as a, as a kind of Schnittstelle, as an interface where uh, different practices come together and bounce against each other. What can we accomplish in a short time? I think it's uh, very important to see the alternative lab as also a model of peer-to-peer -peer collaborative research, where uh, we draw on shared interests and a commitment to be open to uh, question your own approaches and methodologies as well as observe and take in from others their methodologies. So this year, for example, we have people from background in media, communication design and graphic design, uh, as well as fashion design. We have people coming from music and from dance. And we have also uh, artists who perhaps don't even want to be put into one category, but who have perhaps a performing background, but now are interested in video, yeah? or who come from a more theoretical um, and uh, intellectual background doing research on uh, cultural developments in communication, cultural developments in social networking, and also how uh, expanding uh, entertainment industries like games or film and television, uh, in England we call them the creative industries, how they affect uh, behaviors and um, attitudes among people, the way we communicate, the way we exchange, the way we live. And the fact that we see the transformation of this old coal mine into a landscaped campus with avenues and boulevards and a guest house and a, a conference center and a, a building that now belongs to the Technical University of Saarbrücken and a solar plant on the hill and a uh, nanotechnology company uh, up there and an internet company over here. You can already see that we are now in an environment of knowledge industries and alternative resource industries and uh, environmentally sustainable yeah, um, production um, bodies. For us as artists, uh, when we are being asked by the Cultural Commission, so what are you doing here, what are you producing, uh, are you generating new jobs, are you uh, creating new patterns, are you developing new software, uh, how many people might benefit from this? Um, are you developing new art forms? What is this interactivity exactly? Yeah? Uh, these are questions we take quite seriously and since we meet every year with a different set of people, 
we have to ask the question fresh every year. So this year, as we started off last week, we had a long discussion on what is interactivity, how do we improvise with new media, how do we link uh, sound and audio to visual forms and movement images, how do we create uh, wearable uh, technologies that can be worn on the body and used as a communication instrument, how do we work with light in a context of um, multimedia production and uh, recording and uh, uh, transmission. For example, we are running two webcams in the lab that are permanently on and I am now getting emails, uh, people in Canada uh, watching in and saying, oh, I, I saw you were working on a rehearsal or they say we, we looked and we, we didn't see anyone. This can happen because we also spend uh, quite a bit of time uh, uh, cooking meals together and using that time to converse, to uh, ask each other um, where do we go from here and how is this useful for your um, uh, compositional practice or um, how is interactivity as a new media form of setting up an interface uh, benefiting your aesthetic or your political sensibilities. To what extent does interactivity as a feedback system that requires input and perhaps allows the person who comes into the system to learn from the system as well as inform the system so that the behaviors can change. It's something we, we tend to think of as emergent uh, unstable and open-ended conditions or states. So when the states can change and each behavior affects another behavior, how uh, do we transport this to audiences or how do we invite audience as participants into these systems?